This is obviously uh, our Archimedes screw hydroelectric power generation mm -hmm. installation. Um, today we've uh, had a very busy day well uh, installing the screw into the channel so we spent the last uh, two to three months preparing all the groundwork the civil construction work for making the foundations for this uh, very heavy Archimedes screw the whole thing weighs about uh, eight tons the screw and the channel it sits in is another six tons right it's the first phase of the operation where he's uh, bringing the trough down on this trailer um, down to the bottom of this steep bank um, the uh, excavator itself is just being used here as a precaution in case it slips or anything uh, a combination of uh, two excavators have actually been used to lift the trough and the screw down this steep bank which uh, is uh, above the installation here And the final part of the exercise was to try and get the uh, trough to be delicately positioned onto the uh, correct foundation points in the civil structure. Whoever built the weir built that wall and it went all the way up to the top. And of course when we started building this, it was right in the way. So we ended up having to kind of, instead of the water coming out the end of the screw, now we're going to come out the side. Uh, obviously the dimensions of the civil structure had to be absolutely uh, spot on within about uh, five millimetres. Uh, and the uh, angle at which the uh, whole trough had to be installed had to be accurate within half a degree. What, what happened with the pandemic was it, it delayed the, um, the link road and because they had not finished the link road they wouldn't give us access. So, but, so we should have been doing this in the summer, not, not freezing our asses off in the winter. The two diggers had to work very carefully in tandem with each other to try and transport these heavy weights down the uh, down the bank. Right, so we've just brought the uh, brought the screw down the uh, down the slope. Um, I'm about to lift it. Um, right now, it's sitting on the top of the uh, four, what will be the four bay tank, and we're going to uh, lift it into the position in the screw channel now using the digger that's actually um, spotting at the moment and the other digger that's further down the channel so it's going to be like a, a tandem lift into the screw channel. After that had been done, it was um, uh, loosely bolted down to make sure it didn't go anywhere and then the uh, Archimedes screw itself was uh, lifted into position using the two excavators. And uh, the final part of the exercise was to get the bottom end of the screw uh, aligned into its bearing hole, which was part of the trough structure. Uh, so that it actually slotted into the um, into the 
uh, bearing hole and then finally to get the top bearing uh, which is uh, here on, on this slab at the top of the structure um, bolted down so that it would carry the weight of the screw so the, the screw couldn't go further down into the trough due to gravity. Uh, now the, the next phase of the operation is uh, ready to be done really and that's going to be um, uh, fixing this top plate more uh, solidly by applying like a, a grouting material underneath the, the plate here uh, and uh, such that it's more solidly locked into position. Taking out the uh, protective um, struts at the bottom bearing which um, then uh, allow the uh, thing to, to rotate. Then finally we'll just check that we can manually rotate the, uh, oh, the, the uh, screw inside the channel. We will also have to take out the the shims, which are spacers, which are just spacing the uh, flights of the screw away from the trough at the moment, and uh, we'll just do that by just slightly jacking up the two ends of the screw so that we can pull out the aluminium shims that are currently in there. And after that, we'll be able to turn the screw manually and confirm that everything's lined up. And then we'll be ready for our next phase of our project, which will be to build a um, powerhouse. Uh, structure on top of this slab that I'm standing on at the moment and then once that's built we'll start to put the electrical equipment in. So uh, at the end of this shaft here at the top of the Archimedes screw there'll be a, a gearbox and uh, that's going to be coupled to an electrical generator which is an asynchronous generator and then we'll have a control cabinet in the back of the uh, powerhouse which will then control the speed of the, uh, the generator. And uh, then we'll be ready to connect the electrical supply, which is a big cable which runs from the uh, bottom right hand corner of this slab back into the uh, factory at Siemens uh, on the Eaton Bank estate and um, we'll be ready to start generating after that.